Hello Year 5 and welcome to your next maths lesson. So we're going to do some quick warm up activity to warm up our brain. So pause the video and have a go at these questions. Okay, 12 times 4, easy peasy, 48. Now if we notice the next one, 12 times 40, we know we're going to make the original answer 10 times bigger. So it's 480. 203 multiplied by 6, if we do our multiplication method, is 618. Now we know here that we're doing 206 times by 300, which means we just need to make our answer to number 3 100 times bigger. Therefore, it's 61,800. Well done if you got some of those or all of those correct. So we're going to be looking at multiplying three digits by two digits today. Now we're not going to be faffing around with any of the place value counters or the base 10, because I know that some of you have had your brains fried today and have got a little bit confused with it. But if you've managed to understand and harness the skills of multiplying, this is going to help you today. So today should be a little bit easier for you as long as you've understood how to multiply in the previous lessons. So let's consider this question, 132 multiplied by 23. So my first one I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my three and I'm going to multiply 132 by three. So I'm going to start with my ones. So two multiplied by three gives us six. Three multiplied by three tens, gives us nine tens and one three multiplied by one lots of hundred gives me three lots of a hundred okay now my next sum is going to be 132 multiplied by 20 but we need to remember to include what exactly we need to remember to include our place value because we're not going to have any values in our ones so here we're going to do two lots of two so two lots of ten which is four lots of ten 14 2 multiplied by 3, okay, it's going to give us 6, because that's 2 lots of 30, so 60. And then 20 multiplied by 100, so 20 lots of 100, and that's going to give us 2,000. So I'm going to put my 2 value there. All I need to do now is add them together. So we have 6, 9 add 4 is 13, so we need to carry that 10s across into our 100s, and we write down our 3. 6 add 3 is 9, but we need to add that additional 100, so 900 at another 100 is going to be a 1,000, and we need to carry that 1 over, and it's going to be a 0, and then we have 2,000s add 1,000 is going to give us 3,000. My answer is 3,036. Pause the video and have a think about how we might answer this question. Okay, so it's the same rules as we've done before, so we're going to look at our very first sum, which is going to be 2 multiplied by 326. So 2 times 6 is 12. So we need to carry that tens across, okay, and exchange that into our tens, and we can write our 2. Next, we're then going to do our 2 multiplied by our 2 tens. So 2 lots of tens is 20. Add that 1, it's going to give us 21. So we need to exchange that, add that 1, and we're going to write our 5. And then we're going to carry it over, okay, and make sure that we, we take off the one that we've added on. Then we're going to do our next columns. We're going to do our 2 multiplied by 3, so 2 lots of 300. And we haven't got any other numbers to add to it, and that answer is going to give us our 6. Okay. Our next sum that we're going to do is going to be 326 multiplied by 30. Okay. So we're going to start with our 3 multiplied by 6. We need to include our place value. So 3 multiplied by 6 is going to be 18. Because this is by 10, it's going to be 180. So we have to carry that 1 across into the other column. Again, we're going to write down our 8, because 3 times 6 is 18. Then we're going to do 2 times 3, which is 6, or 2 lots of 30, which is 60, plus the 20, so 600. Add that additional 1, is going to give us 7. So 2 times 3 is 6, add the 1 is 7. Then we're going to do multiplying 3 by 3. So 300 times by three tens, and that's going to give us nine thousands, okay? All we then need to do is add them together. So we have two, eight add five is going to give us 13, so we need to carry that one and write down our three. Six add seven is going to give us 13, add that additional one at the bottom is going to give us 14, but again, we need to carry that tens over, and then nine add one is going to give us 10 thousands. Now we can't write 10 thousands in that column, so we're gonna have to carry that one across into our 10 thousands. Now, the only reason why I think this is confusing some of you is because here we would say 2 times 6, 2 times 2, 2 times 3. Now, the only reason why we break it down is because we know we're not multiplying 2 by 2 because it's in the tens column. So that 2 stands for 20. That 3 in the 100 stands for 3 lots of 100, so 300. But if you just remember that you're still multiplying those numbers, you shouldn't get confused. Okay? So... Have a go at doing questions one to four on your worksheet, okay? Rewind the video if you need some extra help to help you, and then once you've done that, come back. 
Okay, Dora, Alex and Teddy have worked out that 248 multiplied by 21 gives them these different answers. Now you'll notice all three of them have a different answer. Now we need to sit and think about what's an easy way to work out which one of them is correct without having to do the full working out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use estimating. Now we know that estimating is when we make an educated guess. Now when we estimate, we have to round our numbers. Okay, so this is where your rounding skills are going to come into play as well. So let's see how we could round 248 and 21 to the nearest whole number to help us work this out. So we could round 248 to 250 because we're not far off. And we could round 21 to 20. So I need to work out that sum now of 250 multiplied by 20. Now if we break this down and take off our zeros, we can do 25 times by 2. So this is our smile method. If I underlined my 25 and my 2 and I draw a smile to connect them. So 20, excuse me, 25 multiplied by 2 is 50. Now, I know here that I have two zeros because this was multiplied by 10 and this was multiplied by 10. So both those numbers were 10 times bigger. Now, I know that if I've got two lots of numbers that are 10 times bigger, two lots of those 10s are going to give me 100, which means that I now need to make my answer 100 times bigger. OK, so my answer is going to be 250 times by 20 is 5,000. OK, we know our cheap way with the smiles 25 times by 2 is 50. And we know to add those two zeros because it's clearly 100 times bigger. So if we now look at our answers, Alex has clearly got the closest answer. So we've not had to work out the whole sum and do all of the maths. But by using our rounding skills and estimating, we were able to work out who was closest to the answer without doing all of that long maths. So estimate each slide of the equation and write our inequality signs to complete the statement. So you have two questions there. I want you to pause the video and think about what numbers you could round them to that's going to help you answer this question. OK, so let's look at 181 multiplied by 24. I could round 181 to 200 and I could round 224 down to 20. OK, I know that 200 multiplied by 20 gives me 4000. My smile method of 2 times 2 is 4. I have three zeros, which means it has to be a thousand times bigger. So 4,000. On this side, I could round 112 down to 100 and I could round 63 to 60 because we're not far off. Now, if I did my smile method of one times six, one times six is six, but I have three zeros, which means my answer has got to be a thousand times bigger. So my answer is going to be 6,000. Now, I can see here that 4,000 is smaller than 6,000. So I need to think about the correct inequality. And this one tells me that this answer here is smaller than this answer here. So you can see how rounding there made that a lot quicker and a lot easier to have a guess or have an estimate at which one was going to be the smallest. So Mo orders muffins for a party. He orders 12 boxes of A, 20 boxes of B and 14 boxes of C. My question is, how many muffins does Mo order all together? Pause the video and have a think. What calculations might you need to work out to work out the answer? Okay, well box A is easy. OK, because box A, he has 12 of them and there's only one in each box. That's 12 times one. So it's going to give us 12. We can see up here the orders 20 boxes of box B. Now in box B, we can see that there's 10. So we want 20 lots of those 10 boxes. We know that two times one is two. Adding our two zeros because they're both 10 times bigger. It's got to be 100 times bigger. Mine's is going to be 200. Now here, Mo orders 14 boxes of C. Now I can see looking at C, if I do my arrays, I've got 4, 8, 12 or 3, 6, 9, 12. So I need 14 lots of 12. Here is where I can use my multiplication skills of my two digit by two digit numbers. And that's going to give me 14 times by two, which is going to be 28. So if I partition this, 14 times by 10 is going to give me 140. What do I need to do to those numbers? Good, I need to add them together. So it gives me 168. Now, the question says, how many muffins does Mo order? So I need to add all of those answers together. So I need to add 200 and 168, add 12. And that's going to give me 380. Now here's my next step. Okay, we know that he orders 380. Now I'm going to add an additional challenge. Each muffin costs 24p. How much does Mo spend on these muffins? Okay, so this is going to be our calculation. Have a pause. See if you can work out the answer. Okay, so our first sum is going to be 380 multiplied by 4. So we're going to do 4 multiplied by 0. 
8 multiplied by 4, we know we've got to carry that 3 over because it's 32. So we write down our 2s, but we carry that 3 into our 100s. 3 multiplied by 4 is the 12. We have to add that additional 3, so that's going to give us 15. Now, because there's no additional numbers to add on, we can write 15 across like that. Our next sum we're going to do is going to be 380 multiplied by 20. So 380 multiplied by 2. Now, I need my place value here. So 2 times 8 is 16. So I can add my 1 down there. And then add that up onto the bottom, so 2 times 8. Then I put my 6 on that side there. And then I have my 2 multiplied by 3, so my 2 lots of 300 is going to give me 600. However, I'm going to add that additional 1 on there, okay, which is going to give us 700. Okay. So all I need to do now is I need to now add my numbers together. So I have 0, 2, 6 and 5 is 11, so I have to carry that 1, and the answer is 11 there, so I add the 1. 1 add 7 is 8, add that additional 1 for my thousands at the bottom is going to give me 9,000. So Mo spends 9,120p on muffins. Now, my question to you, Year 5, is that how we'd write that answer? Mm, no, we'd usually write it in pounds and in pence. So we're going to have to use some other skills now to help us, okay? Now we know there's 100 pennies in one pound. So in order for us to work out how many pennies there are in, uh, how many pounds there are going to be in 9,120 pennies, we're going to have to divide it by 100. So this is now where our division skills come in. Now I'm going to use my place value chart here to help me. So let's plot on our number of 9,120. Now I know that because there are two zeros for my 100, that tells me I've got to move it two places. But am I making my number bigger or smaller? Good, smaller. So am I going to be moving it left or am I going to be moving my digits right? Good, so my numbers are going to move to the right down beyond the decimal because my number's got to get smaller. So I'm going to move each number twice which is going to give me my new answer of 91 pounds and 20 pence, okay? So we've had to use our additional division skills in there, as well as estimation skills and rounding skills today to help you with your multiplication facts. So well done if you've caught up with the lesson today. So now I'd like to have a go at doing questions five to eight, so finish off your worksheet, and then there are some additional questions and problem-solving questions I'd like you to have a go at. Any issues or concerns, make sure you drop them into your emails when you send your work into school, and I'll try my best to support you if you get stuck. All right, good luck, you five.